Andre Rublev vs Daniel Medvedev is the third match of the ATP Finals group stage for 2022. And both guys have had steady seasons to make it to another ATP Finals. Andre Rublev started the year off as the world number five, but after a mid-season slump, fell out of the top 10 briefly before regaining his spot at number seven in the rankings. His season record, 49 wins, 18 losses. So again, another successful season in the win-loss column. He actually made four finals this year and he won all of them, taking home four titles so far in Marseille, Dubai, Belgrade, and his recent title a couple of weeks ago in Gijon. His best win against the world number one Novak Djokovic on the clay of Belgrade. Very impressive win. He actually ended up winning the title. And his worst loss was against the number 96 Nishioka in Washington during that mid-season slump that he was having. Daniel Medvedev started the season off as the world number two. And as we know, he was number one in the world a couple of times this year, up until the US Open where Alcaraz took over and Medvedev dropped down the rankings before settling down at number five in the world heading into these finals. His win-loss record, 43 wins, 19 losses. Not as many wins as some of the other guys, because he was out injured for most of the clay court season, so he didn't get a chance to play a lot of the matches while others did. And he had a very tough time in finals this year. Two titles from the five finals that he played, his only titles being in Los Cabos and Vienna a few weeks ago. His best win was against Stefanos Tsitsipas, the world number four at the time at the Australian Open. But his worst loss was against the 284th ranked Vavrinka, who was on the comeback, and that was at Mets. It's been a very strange season for Medvedev. Some highs of being world number one, but also some lows of missing opportunities. These guys have played five times before with Medvedev leading the head-to-head 4-1, but Rublev has won their last match, which was in Cincinnati last year, close three-setter in the semifinals. If Rublev's going to win this one, he's going to have to be aggressive and push Medvedev around. We know that that is the case with Medvedev. It's not easy to push him around, but you've got to be the more aggressive player against Medvedev. And I kind of hope that Medvedev's not having a good serving day, because when Medvedev serves well, it can be dangerous. If Medvedev's going to play well, he's going to have to serve well, just like I said before. So if he does serve well, he should be able to push Rublev around. And maybe even frustrating because we do know Rublev has a short temper. And once you get inside his head, it's very hard for him to recover from that. It's going to be a very fun match. They haven't played for the entire of the season. And they played a lot over their time. Five times with all of them being on hard courts. I'm going to go with Medvedev. I think Medvedev is just starting to come into some form late in the season. I know he didn't have a great week in Paris a couple weeks ago. But I think Medvedev's starting to look really good now. And I feel like he's going to have too much firepower for Rublev in the end. But let me know down in the comments below. Who do you think is going to win this first match?